Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson with 13 News Now. Here's your tropics update as of October the 20th at 8 a.m. And we are tracking two areas in the tropics, two named storms. This is a very small hurricane. That's Oscar. We also are watching what is tropical depression, Nadine, that does not have much time left on this system. Let's talk about Oscar, a very, very small but impactful hurricane at the moment, lashing parts of the Bahamas heading into Cuba at the moment. Now, Oscar has sustained winds of 80 miles per hour, gusts up to 100, but as it heads over Cuba, it will lose its steam. So weakening into a tropical storm by Monday morning and maintaining that tropical storm strength as it makes a very harsh right turn through the Bahamas again, and then heading back out to sea. Oscar made landfall in the Bahamas on Saturday as a Cat 1 hurricane. Thankfully, though, here in the U.S., we are not expecting any impacts from Oscar at this point when it comes to direct landfalls anywhere at this point. Now, the spaghetti models show Oscar rolling through, most of them rolling through parts of the Bahamas, heading closer to Bermuda. There still are a couple stragglers that still take it through parts of central Cuba, but the general consensus that falls in line with the hurricane center cone takes it back out to sea. But as Oscar heads out to sea, we may see some higher rip current risk around the east coast. Also, we could see some wave height up to about 10 feet. So choppy waters are expected expected, especially for places like Florida, where we can see some small craft advisories in place as we get into the rest of this week. That's all on Oscar. So that's the good news for us here in the U.S. Unfortunately, not good news for our friends out in Cuba, where they're on day two of blackouts in terms of their power grid. So it's not great when you have a hurricane paired with no power. So definitely think about our friends there in Cuba. Down out in parts of Central America and Southern Mexico, we are still tracking Nadine. Now a very broad area of low pressure that is still bringing a few thunderstorms, locally heavy rainfall, the potential for flash flooding as it rolls through. But look how short this cone of uncertainty is as it is a tropical depression now. Sustained winds of 30 miles per hour, gust up to 40, but a very short-lived system after this next advisory. So I would predict that the Hurricane Center would let go of sending out advisories on Nadine by the end of your Sunday. Those are the only two named storms we are watching in the Atlantic. Again, both of them not having any direct impacts here in the U.S. But now we've been through 15 names on average in a given hurricane season. We see 14 named storms. So we're right around average where we should be on a given year. If we have any more named storms, we're going to go through the names Patty, Raphael, Sarah, down to Tony, Valerie, and William. At this point, though, there are no other areas of potential tropical development over the next seven days. So that's good news to us for here in the U.S. and across the Atlantic Basin. Remember, hurricane season ends on November 30th. For 13 News Now, I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson.